Today we're going to make a piece of artwork that is an optical illusion. And artists use optical illusions all the time to make two-dimensional art look like three-dimensional art. So the first thing we're going to do is use a Sharpie and find a, a spot somewhere close to the middle where you want to start and just kind of make a dot there with your Sharpie. We are going to create lines that radiate out from the center, uh, the center being this line. So we're going to make our lines go all the way to the edge of the page. We want to keep them straight and we're going to change the direction ever so slightly so each line is a different angle and goes all the way off the page. Now our goal is to have an even number of sections. So, so far I have six. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This would be 13, so I'm going to divide it in two, so I have 14 sections. You don't have to have 14, you just need an even number. The next thing we're going to do is create a pattern. And it doesn't matter which section you start in. We're going to be drawing contour lines. Contour lines are lines that show shape and ours are going to be curved. So in my first section, wherever I start, I'm going to make contour lines that all curve in the same direction and I'm curving them up. If you run out of space, just kind of draw the portion of the line that, that you can see. Now in the next section, I'm going to change the direction of my contour lines. So I want to match them up, but I want to make them go the opposite direction. Still curved lines, but going the opposite way. And I'm going to repeat that pattern across the entire paper. Now I have my alternating pattern and I finished my even number of sections. So to create the optical illusion that the sections are curving under or curving over, we have to add some value. And so we'll use crayons for this. For um, this project, you need four different colors. We're going to do two colors in the sections with cur lines curving under, and then two colors in the section with lines curving over. And you can choose those colors. So to start, I want to think about the pressure of my crayon. I want to create the hardest pressure or the darkest value on the edges of each little section. And as I get closer to the center, I want to make that value lighter. And I'm going to color every other shape in this section with this color of crayon. So put my dark value on the edges, and I want to kind of gradually fade. So I want to get a medium in there, and that's easier on the bigger sections, and then the lightest, lightest value at the top. The reason this gives the illusion that it's curving over is because it makes it look like the light is striking the top at the harshest angle, so the, the top is lighter. And then it looks like like a curved object, like this piece of paper would curve down. You can see the top of it is lightest because it's directly under the light and the sides are in shadow because they're not directly under the light. So I'm going to continue with this pattern with my first color and coloring in a circular motion helps get that really even. Then I'll go through with, an, with a different color contrasting color is best, something that's not similar, and repeat the same thing. I like to start with my darkest value, but you could do it the other way around. You could start with the lightest value. The bigger your section is, the easier it's going to be to get that range of value. So now you can see that it has the illusion that it curves over. Now because my lines are going the opposite way in the other sections, I'm going to keep 
those crayons handy so I can repeat them in every other section. Um, because these lines go the other way, we'll get the opposite effect here. So we'll do the same thing, but once we're done, it will give the illusion that the section is curving the other direction. Oh, I almost colored that the wrong color. And if you think it would be easier, you can certainly start by coloring every section with these two colors, every other section, and then go back and fill in. Sometimes we spend more time switching between our crayons than we have. So that's it. I just continue this pattern all the way through.